Hello everyone. Aap hai Riya ke saath on Mana TV International. You can watch us live worldwide on Yup Network and can subscribe to our Facebook channel and YouTube channel as well. Welcome to another episode of Healthy Habits. We all might have heard of various home remedies. Some home remedies seem super practical and others may seem almost dangerous and totally bizarre. There is no doubt that using home remedies are often a low cost or a no cost option and can quickly heal without a doctor's appointment or an expensive visit to pharmacy. But still, getting so many advices on various home remedies got me wondering which remedies really work and which ones are not just worth a try. So let's find out some proven ways to use home remedies on our today's episode. Healthy habits with home remedies. Our with us Dr. Pratibha Fatke Gupta. Welcome back, Pratibha. As always, so nice to have you here. Oh, uh, thank you, Ria, for uh, you know inviting me for this one. And uh, I mean, we have all heard of like a politics, you know, and miracle cures, and that cure straight from grandma's cupboard. Often, sometimes it's dismissed as an old wives' tales. Like you know, many home remedies you know have actually survived the security of the scientific researchers, who may not always understand how they work, but uh, they admit that they have validity, you know, um, nonetheless, you know. Um, but again, you know, this uh, whole entire thing is a very uh, s- systematically different reason mm-hmm. why it has not been approved like as is does because nobody has done like a actual real clinical studies on a regular basis because yeah. people have not had, you know, believed in those things. But ideally, if you see, we have to live with certain things that are available in and around us, right? So these are herbs and spices, fruits and vegetables. They're all around us, you know. And definitely, you know, they do have some some benefits out of that uh, on a daily basis, such mm-hmm. as, you know, we can go from on and on. You know, I remember when we were like used to have, a, you know, uh, when we used to play outside, if we fall somewhere, you know, and have a little bit uh, bruises. And my mother used to give me a hot milk, you know, with the turmeric in it yeah. and a little bit of almond powder into that, you know. And next morning we are all running same as normal. So that time I never we never asked this question, what was I in there, right? So things like that. So they do have a benefits out of that. There are a lot of things. And again, these things don't give you miracles uh, in one day. You know, if you're a disease person, then these may not affect you right away because it does take a long time mm-hmm. to adapt the natural ingredients in your body to become more natural. Right. So definitely, like, you know, a lot of herbs and turmeric is, I think, um, the best one that, uh, you know, if bruises and all this we have been given from from the time, like, you know, I was a child also. And that works. That works. But again, it all depends upon personal experiences, like, you know, allergies that people may have. But uh, the way uh, we know that the natural things have less allergy prone. Um, but still, like, you know, uh, these home remedies, um, some may be like instance based, like, you know, specific thing for aches and pains, specific things for sore throats, specific things for digestion or, or skin care. So are there specific uh, general home remedies that you can refer for these general, uh, like, you know, requirements like skin care or blotting or like, you know, aches and pains that we can regularly use on daily basis? Perfectly fine. And actually, if you see that in current times, a lot of people are using like a vinegar, like apple cider vinegar as mm-hmm. a remedy for uh, weight loss, right? And scientists uh-huh. are still studying on those things as well, right? So it does affect that, you know, because the um, apple cider vinegar, uh, the composition called CH3COOH, right? So this is basically acetic acid, different form of acetic acid. And this acetic acid that definitely have different format of oxygen. There are a lot of oxygen in there too. So it is a very, uh, very palatable and very easily mm-hmm. digestible in your body. And uh, these, uh, you know, uh, apple cider vinegar has a lot of benefits, multiple benefits, actually. Okay. And also it creates a lot of, uh, you know, healthier aspects of it, you know, suits your body. And, um, you know, weight loss also people have been using that as well. And uh, it has been proven and people can see the references uh, in their nut- in nutritional journals, things like that. And uh, certain times, for example, you know, when people get a diarrhea, right, you remember that people have a diarrhea, so nothing goes to your body, right? 
So then people say, and nowadays doctors have started to recommend called BRAT diet, B-R-A-T diet. Okay. So which is called as a banana, B is B for banana, R for rice, and A for apple and T for toast. So if these okay. four items are in your home, and which is, I believe everybody has them in home, right? And these are more like, so if you use it properly, you know, and a regular basis, that probably will help you. And uh, such as, for example, like sometimes children, when they are sick, you know, and they have diarrhea, and it is, it is a very kind of annoying situation sometimes because they won't feel like eating anything. They feel more weak and also uh, they have no energy. And uh, what happens then, you know, and then you feel frustrated because they're not eating well, you know, and, and the recovery time will be too long then, right? So, you know, just have a banana, you know, um, you know, mashed banana. If the child is very, very young, you know, mm -hmm. they can have a very a smooth paste of rice, you know, and banana separately, you know, different times. It does affect actually, you know, I have done and I have used myself as well. And uh, toast is also anything good that is uh, that is a carbohydrate, right? And um, apple has uh, other chemicals composition as well. So because it has a fiber, so it basically absorbs that, uh, you know, nature of the water. So you don't have much, you know, liquid coming out from your body mm -hmm. system. And banana, because it has a lot of other ingredients, it has a sugar, it has a fiber, and it has other, you know, chemical compositions like a potassium. So it retains the, you know, moisture as well as the minerals and nutrients in your body. And uh, toast, as I mentioned, it's a carbohydrate, you know. So it is a crunchy toast can also give a palate, you know, a carbohydrate, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, these things uh, can really help uh, also. And rice is all the complex carbohydrate. So it also retains uh, in the body. So body gets more energy. So you don't have to go rush to the, you know, bathroom to excrete things like that. So that will really give you more kind of little bit more uh, sense of little energy. So being mindful. So these things, see the, uh, the other thing also, Ria, uh, herbs and spices don't do everything instant, right? So you have to be mindful when to use, where to use, how yeah. to use. And depending on your age group as well, depending on your, you know, level of, you know, understanding that what spice suits best for you. You're not going to do just like that because somebody said so, right? So, or maybe you have heard for somebody, ginger does this for you. So that is perfectly fine. But again, um, you know, like a ginger uh, is a very good into, uh, it, it has a more than 300 re biochemical reactions can be rejuvenated and activated if you have a ginger in your diet, you know, and uh, it is, it's a very, uh, you can also go for a uh, literature search as well. But it has a lot of benefits. Ginger has a lot of benefits, you know, for mm -hmm. soothing your stomach and soothing your sore throat. And um, also, if you recall, Ria, uh, most of the Indian family or Asian families, they use uh, and the chai tea uh, ginger on a regular basis, yeah, right? Regular basis. If you have noticed that, you know, and cardamom is another one. You know, cardamom also <laughs> is the, another spice that is very, very effective, you know, uh, using that because of the fact that, you know, it has a, uh, different uh, chemicals in it to to maintain the digestive process as well and again as i mentioned repeatedly is that you know we don't have any way to prove that it does it really do it but ideally there must be some reasoning behind that because we've been using traditionally for many many years and yeah. ayurveda has been in many many thousands of years old so definitely there may be some benefits out of that. So we've been adopting that without questioning that. Does it help me or not? But we have been using that, as I as I mentioned before. Yeah, back to you. Yeah. So Ayurveda, like, you know, the way uh, this this came into. So how can we compare or how can we connect Ayurveda with home home remedies? Are the same? Are there are they different? What are the differences? Well, basically, see, Ayurveda is basically, if you see this, uh, Ayurveda means Veda is basically more knowledge about these natural, you know, ingredients, you know. Um, Ayurveda's the medicines are very, very popular in India and other countries of the world. And uh, they do come in a different forms, like, you know, herbs mm -hmm. and spices. There are some herbs are coming from bark of the plant, or sometimes they come from the seed, they come from mm -hmm. the leaves, they come from the stems, they come sometimes from flowers. So there are different parts of the plant that comes from yeah. different, different, you know, sources from that. And that affects like, for example, hibiscus flower, the hibiscus flower has been used, right? Echinacea has been used, right? Uh, and also a uh, ginkgo biloba has been used for, uh, you know, mental ability to, you know, ashwagandha, if you have seen that, mm. right? Ashwagandha also creates your mental, you know, a power of thinking, right? 
and uh, it's echinacea has been used for uh, you know immune system right so so people may some people may have studied before we may have not been aware of it but if you look into it all the medicines you know from ayurvedic medicines i believe people may have seen that study of course you know there's an institute in uh, us also and there's institutes in india too and uh, those are the things are more uh, you know it has to be more for your personal knowledge and personal information not to recommendation to anyone because mm-hmm. it suits to your body what suits to your body it may not suit to other people so you have to be very mindful about that you know um, you know um, so for example the the um, herb called valerian right valerian is very good for maybe uh, sleeping for pe- people who are not able to sleep well mm-hmm. but some people may choose sleeping pills right so right if you see ideally you know salicylin and you know, all those other chemicals that are used for aspirins and things like that so people may choose uh, other medicines for other aspects of it so it is so ideally if you see that if i can say that you know all the herbs and spices they're actually they do have a chemicals but they're in a natural form in but a... currently when we use the medicine they they are most likely chemically synthesized or isolated from natural ingredients to for for having that chemical composition to affect the body you know instantly right so for example if you have a headache right so if you have a headache then you're not going to wait for uh, herbs and spices for long because it may not affect you right away right, right and yeah. you may have to go run you know you may have to take analgesic you know uh, tylenol related to that uh, medicine so you have to go for that as well but i i prefer that you know uh, herbs and spices could be just like as our our topic says daily habits right mm-hmm. daily habits may give you more improvement of your quality of your life so what other herbs like you know that um you can mention uh, basically like you know on the daily habits scenario like you no know, not on um specific reason like uh, in aches and pains or dis- indigestion but like a normal daily habit what herbs we can incorporate um in a lifestyle you know if you see that you know um if you see our style like you know if we're if you see asian indian families right so you see a lot of spices we use in a regular basis right mm-hmm. now one more thing i wanted to add is that turmeric is used in every mm-hmm. every every food that we yeah. eat right? so that definitely culture is anti inflammatory right anti inflammatory mm-hmm. now anti inflammatory means like it protects your body against you know any infections right so mm-hmm. it also improves the for arthritis people have seen that as well and again as i mentioned that you know people have to go and check their references you know uh, what i am saying is that may or may not uh, uh, you know appeal to them but you can always go and check out those references so you can be more comfortable with that all i'm saying is about what i have learned from and what i have used so that is my experience based on that um and also for example these are herbs called like you know chili pepper right so chili pepper is basically it has a chemical called capsaicin right so capsaicin basically is also good it is very used for arthritis so mm-hmm. most of the arthritic medicines medicine may do have that right so again uh, also you're not going to eat the 5 kilos of you know spices to basically compensate that but if you have a uh, like a one pinch of a uh, uh, chili pepper in your food on a daily basis mm-hmm. that may improve like slowly and slowly and steadily you know can give you quality of life you know i'm not saying that you know when something happens to so you go and take a turmeric pills right then yeah. may or may not affect right away so if you have a develop the taste and the flavor of your food and spices in a regular basis that not only will give create your balance in the body but at the same time it can give you palate test also right so you can make more tasting tasty food as well such as for in garlic and onions have you heard of that mm-hmm. right these are super naturally you know uh, yeah. available uh, you know uh, herbs and spices basically are used for immune system you have heard of that right in fact i've heard of that people have used these garlic and onions for in it, their cholesterol you know improvement quality of cholesterol you know and uh, there was a uh, medicine that does uh, compare to that uh, using garlic and medicine separately they found out some of the effects and beneficial effects of those things too and again references can be available for people to look into it and uh, the garlic for example e- eating on a daily basis maybe two or three cloves on a daily basis definitely will have impact on your body you can see the improvement in your immune system the quality of the life as well and of course a lot of people may not agree with that you know that uh, garlic has a little order of those mm-hmm. but again you know uh, you have to choose whether you like the order or you like the health right so order means order has a uh, some solution brushing your teeth and things like that but a lot of people say well we go for a uh, uh, garlic pills right so garlic pills may or may not have the same benefits that you have a natural garlic 
but at the same time, garlic can be used as a, in a different form, right? In your pickles or anything like that on daily. And a uh, lot of people who have had, uh, you know, uh, came across me and then had shared this thing with me that uh, garlic uh, eating on a daily basis, on a regular, especially in the morning, uh, with a little bit of water, uh, warm water has the good mm-hmm. benefits of that, you know. And um, you, know, you probably may have heard of cinnamon, right? Ria? Yes. You may have heard of cinnamon. Now, good thing is that the cinnamon sugar, have you heard of the cinnamon sugar? Yes. There's a, if you go to store, people have cinnamon sugar. And there's oh, a reason yeah. for that, you know, why? Because cinnamon has been used for cutting down your glucose level from the blood circulation. Mm-hmm. So uh, cinnamon has been effective in that as well and uh, to maintain your glucose level, right? You may have heard of like, you know, uh, bitter melon. Have you heard of that bitter mm-hmm. melon? Right? Bitter yes. melon has been being studied for uh, using uh, for diabetic patients as well. So mm-hmm. people are studying on that as well. Now, another thing is if you see curry leaves, if you heard of mm-hmm. that curry leaves, right? Yeah. Curry leaves also has been used for, um, you know, being studied uh, for preventing your diabetic, you know, situational things like that. Now, currently, you probably may have heard of Moringa. Have you heard of that Moringa? Yeah, Moringa. Moringa is used as a drumsticks or it is used as, a, you know, in many of the places, drumstick mm-hmm. has been used. And in fact, the drumstick seeds are being used. In fact, drumstick uh, are used as a culinary in uh, South Indian dishes, right? There may be some reason for it, correct? Yeah. And, uh, you know, and the Moringa leaves in the extracts, of the Moringa leaves have been used for cancer and other treatments as well. And uh, people have been studying that. Now, I'm going to tell you one more thing. Neem. Have you heard of neem, right? Yes. Now, if mm-hmm. you if you recall, I mean, I recall from my childhood that, you know, we used to have uh, uh, what do you call neem sticks available from the growth, from the stores right here and mm-hmm. there, right? Local uh, farmers or local stores, they used to sell those uh, neem sticks. Now, mm-hmm. this being more like, a, you know, studied and make, basically, uh-huh. if you see currently, uh, people have been using that, uh, you know, in their uh, local uh, stores now. I've seen that actually. Now, the neem has also, it's just called, is an anti, you know, bacteria, right? And mm-hmm. uh, it has been a natural, you know, uh, insecticide or pesticides. You'll be very surprised to know that. And people have started to make, uh, you know, chemicals out of that and make in the form of a cream and then make in the form of a pills and make in the form of your toothpaste or toothbrush. Right. So, in fact, I've seen people have started to use that, that the neem, uh, you know, uh, bark used as, uh, you know, one of those uh, in a brushes, wooden brushes. So think yeah. about that. So people have started to learn more about it, you know, and it may take a little time for people to understand. And uh, we are not in a hurry to let people know, rush to use it. And they do have a benefits. In fact, uh, uh, many of these uh, herbs or uh, trees or plants and or bushes are being considered as, uh, you know, being, you know, put it into even United States, you know, uh, neem. Uh, neem is one of them. People have started to think about that because neem has a lot of benefits. It is a natural, you know, insecticide, natural, you know, pesticides as well. So if you have a tree around you, then mm-hmm. definitely you will not have a mosquitoes around you too yeah. as well. No, you know, if you see, you recall that in times where people have been using in their homes, right? So there may be some reasoning behind it. So we can't force people to believe that. But again, the traditional things we've been using, it is all good. Now, one more thing I want to add you into that. If you recall cloves, right? Cloves were Mm -hmm. one of those spices that we use in our uh, culinary, you know, uh, food, right? So these uh, uh, cloves are very beneficial for toothaches, right? So People may ask you why and how it works because it has a chemical that can prevent any bacterial growth in your mm-hmm. in your tooth. So we used to have the toothache. People used to take that particular, you know, uh, yeah. cloves in your mouth, right? Or clove mm-hmm. oil, right? People used to put them. Mm-hmm. Now you probably may have heard of peppermint, right? Yeah. Or uh, mint, correct? Mint has been used in culinary for so long, right? In a in a in your spices as a, used as spices in your food and your salsas or chutneys, things like that. And also, it is also very essential, you know, of course, it gives you flavor. Not only that, again, it has a benefits of the more immune system enhancer, you know, uh, mint, right? And uh, I can go on and on with a lot of spices that has been used uh, on a regular basis. People have been using that. One more thing comes to my mind is, uh, you know, when you very special, you know, um, herb like a turpentine, mm-hmm. it also is more like, a, you know, uh, people have been using as a, uh, in their uh, homes for uh, uh, being more disinfected, things like that. 
and uh, you know lavender have you heard of lavender yeah. for uh, if you go to spa places they've been, been using lavender people have started growing lavender in their own home you know and um, you know tulsi tulsi is uh, you know it's a basil a view if our audience uh, know about that basil you know or tulsi uh, which is used worldwide uh, in their homes for certain benefits uh, from them so uh, if you see that you know uh, andrea if you recall um, our homes used to have uh, you know to see mm-hmm. as yeah. one of those uh, and people used to say it's a religious flower religious right. plant you know why because nature has made uh, this basil with multiple benefits out of that it has so many qualities of uh, ingredients that is being useful for many many benefits out of that you know and uh, i can go on and on on those things as well and uh, if you see uh, basils are very well defined uh, you know herb that people have been using in different different forms like in the form of medicine in the form of a tea in the form of a religious uh, you know uh, prayers yeah. as well right so there has to be some reasoning behind it that people have been using that on a regular basis and um, i am just uh, very excited about uh, talking about mm-hmm. these kind of things because we have been using that for a long long time now how many people you know that uh, uh, when they go out uh, you know um, you know on parties and things like that they have cardamoms in their mouth correct mm-hmm. right right so cardamom is like you know give you freshness of the feeling mm-hmm. correct so even if you're using this as a freshness of the feeling but again you know it's a it's a you know it kills the bad bacteria and a you know when we have a b- bad breath you know it, you know people don't want to be around you and yeah. uh, you know it's written in the call as a it's called a cineol it's also c i n e o l e it's very rich into that and it's like a potent antiseptic also and that little kills the bad breath bacteria you know and uh, doctor i think james duke and i don't remember exactly the reference to that he has mentioned about that too um, you know um, so you know people have been using those things you know we have been using that for uh, for for example just like a natural thing just like a by daily and again right. these uh, spices i believe should not be used as a uh, strictly as a medicine because they may or may not give you the benefits just like right. you yeah so nature has definitely like you know given has so many amazing things and like you know pick and choose or or like you know the way and uh, depending upon our health our body our lifestyle we can definitely incorporate all these uh, natural things in our um, in our food in our lifestyle and get all the um, home remedies uh, but again whatever we discussed today we just wanted to mention all the audience that this is definitely just an information purposes you can pick and choose as per your health your lifestyle your experience and then incorporate in your um, in your lifestyle and uh, you know gain benefits of all these healthy natural things available uh, and given by nature again thank you pratibha thanks a lot amazing information as always um, we would again come back with a new episode new topic till then uh, bye guys we'll see you again thanks Thank you Ria for inviting me and thank you Amana TV International for creating such a good uh, uh, episodes of uh, daily habits for us thank you thanks, thanks.